Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're going to show you a step-by-step -step installation of the G4 Elite uh, tonneau cover. It's going on a 2011-2500 Ram. And uh, we're going to be showing you step-by-step -step instructions. So it's actually going to be in three parts. Um, so we'll just start with part one and then when you get done with that you can load up part two and then part three. And the reason why I chose this one is because, two reasons really specifically, one is that the locks are flush with the top of the tonneau cover and you don't have to open the tailgate to get the tonneau cover open. The other issue is that in the back of my truck I have an auxiliary 40 gallon fuel tank. Here's the aluminum fuel tank, auxiliary fuel tank we have to consider with the installation of the tonneau cover. So you can see why I wanted a tonneau cover that actually will fold up. Uh, so this is, uh, we've got the package uh, unpackaged now. So we've got all the parts out. We've got our rail runner, one for each side. Weather strip gaskets, here goes on a tailgate, um, and then we have fastening hardware, and then here's our tonneau cover, hard surface tonneau cover, and you can see the recessed latches, like what I was talking about, and that these come with keys as well, so they can be locked, and again, with this one here, you don't have to open the tailgate in order to gain access to your uh, truck bed. Here you can see that the back pockets are already cut out. However, the front pockets, there's a little template here, um, so we're going to go ahead and cut that out. And I think maybe the best tool to do that with, I tried with the utility knife, it was kind of tough to do. So I'm going to use my Dremel with a little cutting wheel on it, and we'll see how that goes. All right. Okay, so you can see we've got the passenger side front stake uh, cut out. Um, and uh, what we noticed from doing the first one on the driver's side was that the... Uh, little template here that was pre-cut was actually much larger than the actual stake pocket so we took that into account when we cut this one so this one is more cut more accurately to the actual size of the stake pocket okay so the instructions say to wipe down your rails with 70 percent isopropyl alcohol so we're going to wipe these rails down okay so here's the uh hardware that was in our hardware kit i've got everything out what we need to do next is grab a support washer and we'll just push it in the rail like this. There's two holes up here and there's one hole, there's one at the other end and um, first thing they said to do is actually pull this off so we'll pull this off right now. Now we'll take our washer, slide it in and we'll take one of our bolts right there it's got the Allen head on it. Okay, we'll put this uh, bolt in. It's got the Allen head on it. I'm going to pull that gasket out of the way and then get that Allen head bolt seat down. i got to make sure it's not on that gasket. Pull the gasket out of the way and there. So we've got that squared away. And I'm going to do the same thing down at the other end. Okay, so you can see we've got our bolt in now uh, through the hole on this end. And uh, this is the bolt right there with the Allen. And underneath the head of that bolt is the support washer, which you can see right there. So we've got this one at that end, and you can see this one at this end. So you can see I've got the left rail done, and the right rail is done. Okay, so we've got four stake pocket nuts, one, two, three, four, and we're going to just go ahead and thread these on. The uh, open part uh, goes up. So for right now, we're just going to thread these on about five turns. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do this at all four points. So one, two, and then the two points down there. And so we got the Allen wrench on here. You can see the way that the front one goes in the stake pocket. The shallow U goes towards the back. The big U up towards the front. We're going to hook on the back side of the rail. And we're going to go ahead and just tighten this with the Allen wrench. Now we're at the back stake pocket. We've got the big U on the clamp uh, towards the front of the rail. It's hooking on the front of the rail. And we're going to take this down basically finger tight. We have to be able to move it um, to get everything adjusted well. So. So we just set the... Uh, cover on the front of the vehicle and now we're going to just kind of unfold it. And we'll do the next step with this. And like that. 
Okay, we've got the tonneau cover just gently placed on. We have a tab right here in the back. Um, so we're going to close the tailgate and what we're looking for is a 1 16th inch gap between this and the inside of the tailgate. So if it's too close to the tailgate, we're going to just push this up a little bit. So we're going to see how that is. Okay, ideally what we're looking for is a 16th or 1 32nd of an inch gap between the edge of the cover and the rubber seal that we've got here. Down on that end we're pretty tight, but up here we're very loose. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this in with a, a mallet. So, oh, it's going in nicely. I mean a sixteenth to a thirty-second. It mean that means it should be. I mean, like really, really snug. It should be really tight. So we're good there. I got that gasket pushed in pretty good there now, and I'm going to work my way down from the um, front. To the back, a couple caps with a mallet, and it pretty much, this should probably pretty much look like a uh, continuous seal here when you get done. That's how close it really needs to be. And when we go to tighten this up, um, I'll probably just push it in a little bit like this. And uh, this side is good, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. And so we're like really tight on this side, so we're good over here. I'm going to check that other side one more time, make sure I didn't mess it up. Yeah, we're still good over here too, so um, we've got the uh, gasket on the rail. Pretty much, I mean, just a sixteenth or a thirty-second of an inch in contact with the um, panel itself. Okay, so what we've done is we pre-assembled these little brackets right here. Um, and we're going to install these next. I've got one, two, three, four. We've got that inner clamp, this, and then a bolt, and we have a uh, flat washer on that as well. So um, we've got those assembled, and we'll install those next. We're going to assemble the, the hinge bracket now. And so we've got these small pieces of aluminum here. Put this in a groove like that, and then we're just going to take the small Allen's and go ahead and put them in finger tight. We've got two of these to do, one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. So we've got that in, we'll put this one in as well. Thanks for watching part one of our G4 Elite uh, tunnel cover installation. And uh, please feel free to bring up part two next and uh, load that up and you can watch part two. Thank you.